hey y'all welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to be removing my box braids but also giving myself a deep cleanse using a clay mask as you all can see it is time for these braids to come out i am technically in my timing one week overdue because i had these braids in for seven weeks i usually never leave any type of protective style in my hair longer than six weeks To get started, we are going to go ahead and section our hair off into three sections, one on each side in the front, and then we'll work with the back section all together. This makes taking down the braids much more manageable, but it also kind of gives you a sense of how much more you have to take out, but also how much time this is really going to take. I will say I really underestimated how much this process was going to take me. I kind of figured, I was like, I can get these braids out in like an hour, and I'm like, girl, who do you think you are because this process ended up taking me about over three hours and I was frustrated so as you all can see here I am cutting the ends of my hair I wasn't quite sure where my hair stopped so I did not actually cut a whole lot I only cut cut off the ends that were dipped and I didn't cut my hair at all so I kind of had more braid to take out but I'd rather be on the safe side I don't want to cut my hair because as they were putting it in I was very on them about don't be cutting my hair um <laughs> which they did it but I like to cut the ends just to make the process a little bit more smoother but don't overdo it importantly when you take these braids out you really really want to go ahead and detangle the hair at the roots you're probably gonna find lint anything that you could probably think of that's just like sitting at the root of the braid so I usually start by finger detangling making sure I get any product buildup out I know that the lady had used gel at the base of uh, my hair I had washed most of it out but some of the hair that was kind of at the start of the braid still had a little bit of gel on it because of course when I shampooed my hair I had a bunch of new growth so don't be afraid to use a rat tail comb as I like to say to go ahead and detangle and as you all can see here as I move up I will gather all of the hair that I have already taken out that's my hair together and put it in a little twist or a plait but I do not play about detangling the hair once you take out these braids you don't even need to add deep conditioner you can do it just like this but if you feel like you need something to soften it up use a little bit of conditioner but do not use a whole lot I have actually had bad matting in the past so I have become very very picky about how I remove my braids and as you all can see here the back is out and this is when I knew that I underestimated how long it was going to take me because I was on this back section for sure over an hour. If you are struggling with detangling the roots of your hair, do not be afraid to use the other end of the comb to really break up that braid at the root of your hair. And this kind of makes it a little bit more malleable where you can start separating the hair strands, trying to get that product build up um, and just lint and stuff out of the root of the braid. And then go ahead and use your comb to thoroughly detangle that section. Honey, once I got to this, this braid, I was like, okay, I can see the finish line. Taking your braids down, the time and energy that it takes, it kind of have you not even want to do nothing else after you take, take them down. But it's like, I can't go to bed with my hair this dirty. So it was a whole cleansing process after this, you guys. But when I tell you this braid removal had me thinking like, no, I really don't want any braids until a long time. And the next time I get braids, they're going to be like real extra large. Those are the thoughts that were going through my head. <laughs>
Once I got all of the braids out, I went ahead and mixed my clay mask concoction. I'll link a vid video in the cards for you all on how I actually make this mask. I really like this mask because it really, really strips strips the hair of all of the buildup, gunk, junk, whatever you have on your hair. It really gives the hair a very thorough deep cleanse and I usually use this product whenever I don't really thoroughly wash my hair for a long time so that would be like having a protective style like this where I can wash it with the braids in but I'm not really getting it getting it like it really needs to be got if you know what I mean. So I'm just smoothing that clay mask on top of my hair. I did use my spray bottle of water to dampen my hair first. This makes the clay mask just a little bit more malleable so that you can go in and define those hair strands. As I was actually putting this mask on my hair and starting to dampen my hair with a little bit of water, I could already see how some of my ends were um, damage from the braid so I knew after doing this hairstyle I wasn't gonna do my trim this day but I knew the following week it was gonna be a trim day so make sure you all stay tuned for that for an updated trim but for now we're focusing on cleansing and moisturizing and bringing our hair back to its original state before the braids As you are adding the clay mask to your hair, do not forget about the roots where you have all of that new hair and new growth. Of course, it probably experienced some buildup as well, so we want to make sure that we're giving all of our hair a thorough cleanse. And of course, before you add the clay mask, make sure your hair is thoroughly detangled. This mask is very, very thick, and once it dries, you cannot manipulate the hair at all. Although this process did not take as long as taking out the braids, I was super, super excited to be done with the clay mask portion of my wash day routine today. And as you all can see here, the hair has stiffened up. I went in and washed the clay mask out and here you can actually see how defined my curls are, but you can also see how some of my ends are a little bit more straight than usual. You're gonna want to follow this up with a good shampoo and condition and I will see you all with the style in the next video. See ya.